This table summarizes the results of a five-year follow-up study to determine whether or not smokers who have had a heart attack will reduce their risk for dying by quitting smoking. A cohort of 156 heart attack patients was studied, all of whom were regular smokers up to the time of their heart attack. Seventy-five of these patients continued to smoke after their attack. The other 81 patients quit smoking during their recovery period. Of the 75 patients that continued smoking, 27 died. So the proportion of these patients that died is 0.36. Of the 81 patients who quit smoking, 14 died. So the corresponding proportion is 0.17. These proportions estimate the five-year risks of dying for these two groups of patients. We may wonder whether those heart attack patients who continue smoking are more likely to die within five years after their first heart attack than those who quit. A measure of effect gives a numerical answer to this question. Such a measure allows us to make a comparison of two or more groups. In this case, continuing smokers, and smokers who quit. For follow-up studies such as described here, the typical measure of effect is a risk ratio. To calculate a risk ratio, we take the ratio of the two risks being compared. That is, we simply divide one risk by the other. Actually, we are getting an estimate of the risk ratio which we indicate by putting a hat symbol over the RR notation. RR hat is an estimate because we are using two estimates of risk based on samples from the two groups being compared. In our example, therefore, we divide 0.36 by 0.17 to get 2.1. The estimated risk ratio of 2.1 tells us that continuing smokers are about twice as likely to die as smokers who quit. In other words, for heart attack patients, the five-year risk for continuing smokers is about twice the corresponding risk for smokers who quit. If our estimated risk ratio had been 1.1, we would have evidence that the risk for continuing smokers was essentially equal to the risk for smokers who quit. We call a risk ratio of 1 the null value of the risk ratio. This is the value that we get for the risk ratio when there is no effect, that is, the effect is null.